Hello everybody, so I'm going to be doing a brand new video. I have no idea what gameplay footage is going to be on this video, but I want to talk about something that is actually kind of personal to me. And that is going to be the topic of Dead or Alive 3 Beach Volleyball, uh, or Extreme Beach Vol Volleyball 3. Um, it's going to be released in Japan, but it won't be brought to the U.S. because apparently Koi Tecmo, as well as Team Ninja Theory, decided that they would not bring it to the U.S. because of the fact that Social Justice Warriors, and I air quote this as I'm saying this, um, want to bring it down and they don't want to uh, allow consumers to be able to buy that here in the States. Now here are my thoughts on this. One, why is it anybody's business what I buy with my money? If I really want to buy a game that has tits and ass in it, as well as sexually, uh, or, or sexualized images in a video game, I have the right to do so. You can do that in pretty much anything these days. And if they really think that this is going to stop people from playing these types of games, uh, the social justice warriors are dead wrong. Um, I would pretty much buy it if they released it in the States out of defiance because I feel like this is another thing that's attacking our freedom. Um, we get a whole bunch of people riding our asses nowadays because they don't like a certain game or a game doesn't portray women in a certain way and why does it really matter? It's a video game. It's not real. Um, there's countless other reasons why I can state that this is wrong, but I feel like this should not be happening. Um, I should be able to walk into a store and be able to pick up DOA if I wanted to without um, someone else trying to take over my right. We have freedom of speech in America for a reason, that's to protect property as well as IPs. And for th them to kind of bow down to this, to bow down to this uh, hating tactic that the social justice warriors are doing, is just wrong. Like, I feel like Toei or Koei Tecmo should come back and say, Hey, we're sorry that we um, originally went along with this idea. We're going to release Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball 3 for the um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One here in the States. And that would be like the ballsiest thing that they've ever done. We really need to stand up to these people because if we don't stand up to these people, they're going to be doing this to not only this game, but they're going to probably go on to other games. They might go on to Gears of War. They might go on to God of War 3. They might go on to... Like any other video game that has blood and violence and maybe even some sexualized images in a video game, they might go and attack that game. So I feel like catering to these people is not going to let it stop. It's going to keep it going. And for even PlayAsia to even announce that they're going to allow um, American consumers to import this game, I applaud you. But at the same time, I feel like this is just a scare tactic to get people to stop making games like this. And we really can't have that. This is ruining the video game industry. This is ruining creativity as a whole and I feel like Tecmo had the balls to uh, make this game they should have the balls to release it whether or not they're gonna get pillaged by a group of idiots that probably have never picked up a video game before in their life that's how all this stuff happens they attack violence in video games all the time in the news and it's by people that don't really ever sit down and play a video game um, and this is the same thing that's happening with D Dior, bleh, DOA or Dead or Alive 3 Beach Volleyball um, I feel like this whole thing is just a fuck up and I really would hope that eventually they allow American consumers to uh, buy it here in the States without having to import it. They already have the audio tracks for the American version because they're going to be including that in the import. But this is just terribly wrong and this should not be allowed in any sort of society. Um, we can buy rated M games from any store. There's a reason why we have the rating system in place and that is to keep kids or anybody that has an issue with these games away from them. If you have a problem with DOA, the fact that there's tits and ass in there, then don't buy it, but don't try and limit other people from playing a video game that they just so happen to enjoy. I don't agree with that at all. So, anyway, if you guys are at all interested in picking up this game, I would say import this from PlayAsia and show these people that we are not going to stand for this and we are going to stand against them because this is the only way this is going to stop is if we bring the sales from PlayAsia up, and then they'll eventually be like, oh, hey, this might be a good idea to release this in the States. They should still do this anyway, because we have the right to walk into a store and buy a video game if it has tits and ass in it anyway. So, anyway, I hardly ever do this. I felt like this is a topic that I kind of need to express my feelings on, because I feel really strongly on this, and this is kind of the video that I wanted to make for it. Um, I don't really do commentaries that often, and that's just because I'm always busy and got other stuff to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys agree with me, 
hit the like button and subscribe and as always guys i'll see you in the next video peace this is where we'll find him i hope you're ready One down. I'll lead us to the others. to unsettle you, but I'm tracking the sword by the light of the guardians it's killed. It's further below. The sword is close. I can feel its power. Clear them out! Careful. Its power is dark.
all around us. The princes are coming for the sword. The sword is gone. They say that was one of the most powerful weapons the Hive ever wielded against us. Cryptarchs won't believe this. <laughs> 